Hello, Paul Hamilton here. I'm showing you Padlet. We've done Padlet before, but there's so many great new tools and features in here. I just wanted to show. You can see here, um, I've actually created a, a little video or a little intro kind of for my staff um, as a way of kind of prompting. I've brought in my school as a background and I've got a little video in here. And I think being on an iPad, you know, using iPad in powerful ways, it really does, it has been created um, for the multimedia type aspect. So some of the new features, let's, let's have a look at them. So we could use this for brainstorming. I've got a little video there that actually introduces the task. I think this is a great thing for, for teachers to do, a little kind of welcome to actually describe what the actual task in, in this one is. Um, for my particular example, for my staff, I've basically said, share um, something that you're doing in your classroom involving technology. Um, and basically just let them go. You can actually share that uh, URL link um, and then they can just get started straight away. But if I press on the plus and pretend that I'm actually responding, we've got a few different examples here, but if we click on the three dots on the actual post, you can see all the different things that we can do. We can add a film or a video, uh, we can take a quick snap, we can draw and kind of doodle on the screen as a canvas, we can enter a website that could be something that we're actually doing, we can add maps and files from Google Drive and so forth. So it's just a fantastic way if we select one of these and go for a drawing, we might be brainstorming something that we're using. Uh, we might just have a little, uh, let's go with a little um, kind of idea what's my idea there and we might just draw a little idea of a person actually kind of coming along and actually talking to someone that could be my idea. I save that and basically all the different multi multimedia, all those things that can kind of get um, visible thinking a little bit better there. So I might say, hey, uh, this is my uh, idea for this and I might be able to post it and you can see there that I've got my little idea there that I can actually add to the actual brainstorming list. Uh, Padlet has got incredibly powerful in reg regards to what it can do. This is a great way of getting kids to pose questions, uh, reflecting on a lesson, um, or even just a brainstorming kind of so that you can see everyone from the class and what they're actually producing. So if you haven't checked out Padlet, please jump on, get the app, have a look at some of the multimedia capabilities it's now got. It's a really great way of getting kids thinking and presenting on the one kind of, um, on the one wall, I guess, and actually looking at what everyone's thinking. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.